just an introduction. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Mr. Ted Hill. I'm the head of school here at Chadwick International, and I've been a part of this school basically since we founded it in 2010. So we're now in our 12th year, and uh, it's uh, I'm super excited to be here after spending 18 years as the head of Chadwick School in California. Very excited to be here at Chadwick International. Um, I think the definition that our school has adopted of wellness or well-being is having the resources needed to meet the challenges uh, on an individual level, on a group level, or on a school level. So, in other words, if an individual has the resources necessary to meet whatever challenges she or he is encountering, then we consider that they are they have a basic standard of a level of well-being. So I think that's a very complicated question, quite honestly. Um, so maybe I can just sort of describe the situation. It uh, might be the easiest thing. I think the situation here is really they're very, very high expectations. And we are very fortunate to have a very talented, very ambitious, uh, very conscientious, very dedicated student body. And they have very, very high expectations. And that is a wonderful thing. <clears throat> but. What, uh, what we have to, we hope that our students can also grasp is that sometimes the expectations are too great or that maybe there's a way to meet those expectations that does not take as much time and effort and energy and focus. Um, basically, to boil it all down, our concern is that our students are not getting enough sleep and working too hard and putting too much pressure on themselves to excel in every single uh, area and maybe not being able to take full advantage and taking the joy out of school and what they're doing that really is what we also wish for them. And so while they may be meeting the challenges, they may not feel as good or as happy or as rested or as joyful as we hope that they would be. So one thing I would say is for our students, and families and faculty to work together to set reasonable expectations for our students that can enable them to be the full people that they are growing to be, not just uh, focused on accomplishments and achievement. I think uh, this really fits in with my answer to the previous question, which is, uh, our faculty are working, and I think our new advisory system is one step in this direction, is to really get to know our students on a personal one-to-one -one level so that our students feel comfortable talking with the faculty about what they're going through, what they're thinking, what they're experiencing, so that the teachers can work individually with students to help them set reasonable expectations and maintain balance. At Chadwick School in California, one thing that advisors do at the beginning of the year is sit down with every student and look at a weekly plan where the student puts in eight hours of sleep and then what sports they're playing and what classes they're taking and what homework they're doing so that we can make sure that it actually adds up to a balanced, healthy week, month, year. And I think that has to be done on an individual level. So I think faculty members encouraging the students to talk with them, to let the students know we want to be your friends, we want to be, in a sense, your guardians, we want to help you and then to help students understand how they can live a balanced life and still achieve uh, all the things that our very talented and ambitious and wonderful students want to achieve.